nose at me. What'd you do to your nose? Huh? What'd you get into? <clears throat> Hi, this is Thesia, Havela's Family Farms, and it is a gorgeous day. I'm not sure how the rest of the day is going to work out. I mean, the weather is just beautiful. It's like 52 degrees right now after all this cold and ice and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with Beethoven. He got into something. His old snout's all torn up and swollen, and I'm trying to decide. It's hard to tell because he's so furry that uh, he's... <laughs> It might be, his top of his head might be swollen too. So, I have not been able to turn the water on around here because the, the freeze was so deep. And, of course, we're in an unheated barn and stuff. We've had the water off at the trailer house. So, that's another reason I'm a little, kind of putting a little bit of a, uh, no, okay, the weather's beautiful. Well, let's see how the day goes. So, I'm going to try that now. I'm going to go see, I'm going to check on my plants over there in the trailer house. I'm going to try to turn the water on at the trailer house. And hopefully see how much I can get turned on in the barn and see how well that goes too. But first, let's check the ducklings. We ended up moving them back out to the barn because obviously it got warmer. <laughs> and the other night it was windy. And of course, they've been in, wow, they've grown a lot. They really keep growing. They've been in Kenzie's bedroom. It looks like I need to get them some more stuff. They've been in Kenzie's bedroom and it was windy the other night. And between the light on, the heat lamp on, and the wind, apparently they kept her up all night. So I said, well, it's warmer. Let's move them back out to the barn. So let me get them some more water and get them set up again. This might be a mistake, but we'll check it out. I I'm serious. It's only been a couple hours since I filled the water up. So I'm going to try this open one, see how it does. The first thing they do is jump in the waters. But they're over a week old, so maybe they'll be all right. There's another one jumping in. So, at the very least, it's going to make this uh, mucky mess. But they got fresh stuff. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it. So, we'll see how it goes with them. I need to get them some more feed now, too. They're happy now, though. I did have something kind of that broke my heart. This is all my broths that froze and busted the jars and you and I know now that jars are really difficult to come by but those that was my chicken and turkey broth and there's a few beef broth too but I can't eat do beef right now so that was my meals so I'm going to start over on that and try to find some jars somewhere when we first moved back home from Tony's I kept smelling something and I realized that whoa that I was smelling vinegar, so I looked, and of course this used to be up here on the top shelf, and my rice vinegar had frozen and blown up. So I had to clean that all mess up. My goodness, they're happy. That's a good thing, I guess. And you can see the floor's all wet where I lost it. I'm wondering, I need to check the, oh, I lost some more. Doggone it. Okay, so this is this is canned tur uh, chicken, but I lost another jar. Those two seem to be good so far. I just lost that one back there. Damn it! And lost another jar there. These are my beef jars. But another thing I've lost, and I don't know. Tom brought this home. This big old can back here, and it's pretty rusted and was not in good condition anyway. But it's foaming. Apparently, it's busted. It's potatoes. It's a whole big number 10 can of potatoes that's busted and foaming, and I've got to get that mess cleaned up, too. <sighs> it's been a mess, and I haven't even started trying to turn the water on yet, so... Yep. Well, I guess it's a good thing that the water's off here, because that's not supposed to do that. And I turned the water on in the washer, and it gave me some sort of a code so that's back off and I don't even think we could turn the water off to the dishwasher so I guess I'm back to doing still doing dishes up at the church I can dry at home all right that's on for the trailer house let's see if with something else blows water out it's in there nope had it turn it back off I didn't see where water was coming out anywhere, but I tried to turn the water on, and apparently the pipes are still frozen. And it's been above freezing for a couple of days. Well, 
Yeah, and it did get, the night before last, it stayed above freezing overnight, but last night it got down to 26, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'm frustrated, irritated. You know, the man started a wood stove years ago for the barn and lost interest in it, and it's all covered with crap now, you know. And I know this, and I knew this this was coming, and I knew what I, what I needed to do to get prepared for it, and I just couldn't do it. And I'm irritated with myself for not figuring out how to work around the man and making it work anyway, but you know what? I'm not going to give up. I will figure it out. And next time I'll be more prepared. It just really hurts your feelings when you feel like you want to be prepared and doing stuff. You know, well, that broth was like, I raised the birds. I, I didn't slaughter them. I have that lady up in Kansas do it for me. And, uh, but, you know, I cooked the birds and I made the broth and I canned the broth. And to put it in a barn that's not heated because I don't have any place else to put it. So, yeah, I'm a little upset. I'll get over it and I will get it figured out. Let's check on the seedlings. Well, it looks like they need to dry out. I've got some stuff here that's kind of getting moldy, but look, I've still got some. They're really trying to make it. So I'm taking the lid off. I've got these two heating pads on it to make it a little bit warmer. And it's been two days since I planted the peas. We'll see how they do. But, you know, if I have to start over, it won't be the first time I've had to start over on these, but it's kind of cool that these late, these late uh, sprouters on the cauliflower is probably going to give me some cauliflower. Isn't that neat? I'm grateful for that. Now these chickens are happy to have ground to walk on again. The ducks are coming out and see what I'm doing. I may see if I can get the garden hose even if even if the pipes are not uh, in the trailer house thawed and certainly not in the barn. Maybe because these, this has been out in the sun maybe it'll be thawed enough where I can get these guys more water with uh, a garden hose instead of with filling up bucket filling things up and going we'll have to see but yeah they definitely look happier Woohoo! water running water excellent I'm trying to catch a bee on camera definitely above 50 degrees 50 degrees if there's bees out well there are a lot of things in life I can't control, but I was able to get the, the dirt to thaw enough that I finished planting out peas. I believe the rest of these are green arrow peas, and I've got peppers here. I've got 40 um, California Wonder peppers, 40 early hot jalapenos, and 20 serranos. So that should give us plenty of peppers. But you know what? I forgot. I want some Tabasco. Last year, I uh, found three Tabasco plants, you know, pepper plants. At, at, I don't know where I found it. But I thought, well, that's cool. I'll try that. But it only made enough to make like a little half pint jar of Tabasco sauce. And so I thought, oh, yeah. So as I was planting those, I'm thinking I need to look, see if I can find some Tabasco pepper seeds to see if I can grow some of them. Because it'd be kind of cool to make your own Tabasco sauce, you know. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Now I wish I'd paid a little more attention to my seeds because these were all just wadded up. This is from very large jalapenos that we had bought from the store. Uh, this says it's from a large jalapeno too because we like to grill jalapenos and so the bigger they are the better. And these are seeds from Keith's, a friend of ours garden. He grows huge ones too. So I guess even though I really don't need more jalapenos, I may next time plant a bunch of those. We'll see. Just so we can have some larger ones.